Hi, Eliana. I thought I'd work with you a little bit with the flute since we don't have a lot of time and we have our concert coming in a couple of months and I'd like you to feel confident. Okay, so when you put your instrument together, make sure that you put this piece on first before you put this piece on, okay? So this little piece right here, it needs to be lined up so that this little ridge here lines up with the buttons in the middle of the buttons. Okay, there's a tendency of some of our flute players to do it this way, which is wrong, okay? It's important to have it so that it's like a mountain. The ridge top is right in line with the buttons. Okay, do you see that? All right, then you put the mouthpiece on. And remember, you were having help from your friend at band, so make sure you do that same uh, mouth embouchure position. Sometimes it's easy to put your finger here and then be able to do the same with your flute. You put your flute, there's like a place right here for this part, and you put that right here, and then you're able to play, okay? And um, I want you to start working on all these notes that we've been playing so that you feel more confident. And in your book, this one here, you have a page that has a review on those notes. And that would be on page six. So if you look on page six, there's a review of all your notes. So let's try that right now. So the first note is B flat. And that's the one I like you to tune on. So go ahead and take your flute and what I call pinch pinch. So it's thumb like that and it's skip one, play one, right? And then that's the first of three on the bottom and the pinky. So play concert B flat. And I have to adjust my mouth so it's right in the middle. Okay, let's see if you can tune with concert B flat with me. Ready? Play. Good. Now, I want you to do the next note, which on this one, we're going kind of backwards here, but it is C. All right, so you went from B flat to C. So C, all you have to do is lift up this finger and the thumb. So it's just skip one, play one, and the pinky. And that's basically to help you keep it balanced because it's easy to feel like you're going to drop it. Now try C. Okay, so go back to B flat. C. Next is D. Remember how to play D? Here's a little portion here that shows you D. All right, and D is going to be skip one. Actually, you skip a lot more than one. You just do two right before this little key right here. So you got two here right by the key. These guys are best friends. This guy's on vacation. All right, you got your thumb, right? The thumb is down. These two by the key. One, two, three, the last three, and no pinky here because that would be E flat. So play D. Concert D. Ready? Play. Now put this pinky down, and that's E flat. Play E flat. And then F, which it shows on page six, which is the first note you learned. You end up putting your first finger down that was on vacation. So skip one, play one skip one, play two, and then just the first of three and the pinky, but not this pinky, just the bottom pinky. Ready? F. Ready? Play. That's a little more challenging to play. So you have a muscle right down here, just above your, um, your lungs right here. And so you, what you're going to do is you're going to push there and play a little more tightened here. Play it again. F, ready, play. Now I played too hard that time. 
softer, but it's not too hard, not too soft, just right. Okay, ready, play. Sometimes if I use my tongue, I go, too. That really helps. Okay, when you want to go ahead and clean your flute, make sure when you do um, that you have uh, a hanky. And the hanky uh, has this part. I hope you have this still. And you take the hanky and you put it in a little eye of the needle kind of thing. So it goes like this. All right. And then you stick it through. And try and do this every time. Because if you don't, it gets um, these beautiful pads turn uh, yellow. And then they have to be replaced. Last time I replaced my flute pads, it was $200. I try not to have that happen again. And always put your flute away carefully. If you find that it gets sticky, I mean, it's not sticky enough. It's hard for you to... Put it here, uh, put this part here and here. Then what you can do is take a little bit of alcohol and water on a handkerchief, okay? So it's half alcohol, half water. I even put it in a spray bottle and I spray it on my hanky, not by the flute, okay? And then what I do is I rub this part, this joint right here. I rub it on the outside because it gets grimy. So you can grab it back and forth like that. And then you can easily put this back on. There you go. If it does come on easily, you can try it again. Anyway, always try to keep your instrument clean and have fun practicing. Work on your book. You'll be happy you did because you'll have lots of confidence, okay? I'll see you later. Bye, Eliana.